right everyone, hi. We're back in Rosemary's kitchen. Meatloaf. This is not just an ordinary meatloaf, this is Rosemary's concoction. We call it Rosemary's Gourmet Meatloaf. It'll be in the book as Rosemary's Gourmet Meatloaf. So in here we've got a pound and a half of, uh, you can see it's nice, it's chuck actually, nicely ground and two eggs. So I'm using, I hate this job. I hate getting things in my fingers in my anyway but there we are so I'm mixing all of this uh, meat in with the egg and uh, two large eggs in there and a pound and a half of um, good ground meat uh, I like to use the ground meat with a little bit of um, fat in it I don't like purely lean because when you have purely lean it's okay but it's lacking flavor so okay so we can do that in here I've got, between them, I've got about six ounces of breadcrumbs. I'm going to put half of the breadcrumbs in. And this is all about getting in there. You know, with and your, are they freshly ground? These are all fresh. This is fresh breadcrumbs. Do not, under any circumstances, if you want a good meatloaf, don't use, you know, bought, bought um, breadcrumbs are great for certain things, but just not for other things. So... Uh, I've got a great little machine that takes just two minutes to, so I use fresh white bread, you can use brown, you can use any kind of fresh bread you want, and uh, so just going to put a little tiny bit more of that in there, and you can see it's starting to sort of, you know, get more solid. Now my sister here, say hello Good sister, Hi, this everyone. is Madeline, who you've seen on the, on YouTube a few times now uh, and she's staying here with me in Florida and I'm in charge of stirring this she's in charge of stirring it. She, she hasn't cooked it uh, she and Carolyn just had a little taste of it they tell me it's great now if I can just take that from you, you can. please just for now okay it looks I, I think it looks a bit disgusting they think it looks delicious in here is one large onion, four shallots, uh, three or four cloves of garlic, I'm trying to remember. I've got some sweet chilli sauce in here. I've got Worcester sauce, which I know lots of people call Worcestershire, but it's really called Worcester sauce. Uh, tomato ketchup, believe it or not, parsley and cream. Wherever I go, cream goes with me because I love it. And I'm actually going to put this now little bit at a time again using the hands you notice I'm trying to keep the left hand clean you cook all that together again the directions will be I don't know if you can see this as I'm working let's move that out of the way shall we if I'm working it together would you like to tip some give tip the rest in there Madeline make sure not to miss any of it well I won't I would have tipped it that way. But. Well, I'm trying not to get round the other side of it. <laughs> you know what they say about too many cooks spoiling the broth? Yes, I do know. I know exactly what they say. Didn't you and, coin the phrase? And I might have coined the phrase. And if you can just hold the pan, that's it. I, that's well, it. Throw the spoon that, at and me that's while that then. That's So it. I'm going to use my, because waste not one, not, not everybody. Not likes it. <laughs> Was that nice? Yes. And uh, you can see I like a nice clean pan. Okay, so this is, again, it's the sauce that I made with onions, shallots, garlic, and uh, they've all been cooked. I, I know lots of people like to just put the onions straight into their meatloaf. I've got a friend who loves to put just the onions in because then you've got a little bite of onion when you taste your meatloaf. But this is a gourmet meatloaf. It's a little bit sloppy, so we shall add a few more breadcrumbs. And I'm being a bit careful with the breadcrumbs because the first or second time I made this, I had it perfect, it was perfect, it was delicious. Then I thought I'd tweak it. You know how that is when you get in the kitchen, I thought I'll tweak it, I'll put a few more breadcrumbs in there. It wasn't so good at all. So don't, you know, you want just enough and I think there's going to be about six ounces of breadcrumbs in this meatloaf and of course the breadcrumbs all the breadcrumbs do in the egg they bind everything else together 
Right, so I think we'll use the rest. Why not? And I think I'm going to use those as well because why not? <laughs> there we go. Let's take those out of the way. Give those to my sous chef. And there we are. Now then, as you can see, or probably have seen, there's a pound and a half of meat in here. And there's another eight ounces here. So actually, shall I put it in or shall I not? Um, let's put it in and see how it goes. Because there's enough sauce in there to accommodate this. But I'm going to have to make sure that I blend that little bit, those few eight ounces, and make sure they everything gets in together don't be afraid once you're in you know the thought of diving into this stuff for me is oh do I really want to put my hands in that but once you're in you're in you know and then it's done and then you're in and oh look at this oh my gosh and now he's still using my hands why not because I'm now dirty I'm going to put them into this meatloaf like so. Like That's that. just one meatloaf? Mm -hmm. Well, we're actually going to make two because I put that extra bit of meat mm. in. And don't worry, people, it's going to be perfect when you see it in the recipe. There we are. I can't it believe I just delicious. call people every people then. So, okay, and let's give that a whiz around. I kept it out. I didn't know if I'd use it or not, but there is. I'm lightly buttering in there and again using my hands why not so if you use a pound and a half you'd probably fill one of these tins but they'll it'll rise up a little bit so I've made two why not two why not okay and and they still need to know that they are two pound loaf tins. They are two one pound loaf. Okay. They're one. They're one pound. Are they? Pa pan. Yeah. I thought they were two. Yeah, I know. They look it, don't they? Yeah. They're the big. They're the big ones, not little ones. So here we go. And I've turned the oven on to um, uh, two seventy five, I think. And then this is optional so maybe we'll put the bacon on one so I've got shall we cut these I think we'll cut them just to lay on the top give it a little bit of uh, fat and a little bit of flavor look at that Maybe we'll put them on both because we've got enough bacon. I've got enough bacon out to put them on both. So, there we go. And on that one. And um, they'll probably take about an hour. Not quite sure, to be honest with you. But again, if you want the recipe, just email us, rosemary at rosemaryaltea.com. We shall send you the recipe. This meatloaf, you'll find, is a little softer. Slightly softer than the regular meat loaf you might be used to. Um, it still cuts in wedges. You can, you know, you can still cut it into a wedge and, and have it that way. But uh, it's a little bit softer, a little bit richer. Most people I know do not put cream, heavy cream, in their meatloaf. But I like it this way. This is my own. And there it is. We're going to put them in here, on there. I'm going to cook them at 275 and for about an hour and they'll be delicious. All right, so if you need any more, email us rosemary at rosemaryaltea.com or find us on Facebook. We're going to be on YouTube. Yes, we are going to be on YouTube live on, on Thursday. If you want to ask a live question, go to YouTube look to the bottom right hand corner you'll see chat click on chat and you'll get us live on youtube you'll be able to ask any questions you like that doesn't mean i'm going to answer them but any questions you like we'll take 
All right, and so that's another Rosemary's Kitchen. For now, we'll see you next time. And in the meantime, please, please, please have a very, very, very blessed day.